Hallo meine lieben Liebenden and welcome back to the channel here for another day, another video. So um, yeah, we're diving today into the mysterious world of perfumes. Who would have guessed on this perfume channel, right? Yep, you heard that right. Fragrances, perfumes, colognes, whatever you want to call them. But have you ever wondered why your fragrance or your favorite scent in general is so secretive? Let's talk about it. Okay, so first off, have you ever thought about who actually makes your perfume or what's really in that scent that you love so much? Probably not. Or maybe you do, because otherwise you wouldn't be on this channel. In any case, the fragrance industry has been, uh, how can I say, super secretive about their formulas for years and for good reason. It's almost like they're guarding the recipe to Coca-Cola and, uh, you know, Pepsi maybe as well or something like that. But Here's the thing, times are changing. You know how uh, makeup and skincare have all gone transparent? Like they all um, tell you every little thing that's in the product. Well, perfumes are next in line in my opinion. People wanna know what's in their scent and not just like it smells like roses. They wanna know the nitty gritty details, the specific concentration of vanilla, the exact notes, all of it. Mm, so why have perfumers been so secretive? Well, for the longest time, this secrecy helped kept, uh, keep knockoffs uh, at bay, essentially. But now with new technology, it's way easier to copy fragrances. You literally just have to spray it on uh, some of these machines and they tell you exactly what's in it at which concentrations. And it makes it easy to create a dupe. And you can buy these clones. I'll actually make a video on that pretty soon. And um, yeah, you basically have a clone of your high-end scent for like 50 bucks instead of 500. Crazy, right? Uh, if you stick around, I'm also thinking about making a video on the big industry leaders and how I think that they're conspiring to up the prices. But that's for another reason, uh, another video. So... Speaking of dupes, however, some fragrance snobs like uh, would tell you that, oh no, those clones are ruining the industry, but, and I was one of them, but are they really though? The fragrance market is booming in general. Uh, it's like 2,000, 3,000 new fragrances on the market every year. Um, and I think just last year alone, it was like two and a half thousand new fragrances. It's, it's crazy. And, and sales in general are also sky high with over $40 billion worldwide. And I think up, uh, up until you, the year 2032, it's projected to almost hit $80 billion. This is crazy. So yeah, it's a good time uh, to live and love smelling good. Okay, but here's the catch. As consumers, we're starting to demand more transparency, not just from all the other industries that I mentioned, but also in the fragrance industry, just like we did with skincare, right? We want to know what's in our perfumes, who made them, and if they're maybe sustainable. And here's another thing. Perfumes can contain tons of potentially harmful chemicals. I mean... While I have no problem smoking a cigar or drinking some Casamigos every once in a while, I'd like to still know what I'm putting in or on my body, all right? Um, so it's kind of like a calculated risk, I guess. Now, imagine knowing the exact ingredients uh, in your favorite scent. It's like a whole new level of appreciation, but also it would open up the the door to maybe conduct a little bit more research on the specific fragrances and whether or not they are harmful. And it's not just about the ingredients, it's about the story behind the fragrance, who made it and where the ingredients actually came from. All that makes the fragrance even more special in my opinion. You could even I mean, that's a story for another day. It's like I had this idea during NFT times with blockchain, fragrance ingredients, and all that type of jazz. Uh, kind of, I digress, all right? I'm getting too much off tangent. But why, again, is there not a more transparency? Well, some brands are stepping up. Like, for example, there's this brand called uh, Les Idemodables. 
Y de modables. Maybe you can tell me what that means. Um, and they are actually listing the percentages of raw materials used in their sense on their website. Pretty cool, right? So, and then there are also uh, the indie perfumers who um, they, who've left big brands to do their own thing, like um, Antoine Lier and Christophe uh, Landimel. And they're definitely pushing more a little bit into the other direction where they're demanding kind of more respect and higher copyright protection in the industry, which I understand because honestly, perfumers are like artists. They create this beautiful sense, but they don't get the same recognition or rights as maybe say musicians. While I guess you could argue it both ways and musicians and AI, they're kind of getting hammered uh, right now. Even though I made a video on uh, AI in the industry, in the fragrance industry a while back. So you can check that out on the channel. But anyway, that's their point of view. I think, <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be a hot topic in a few months, I feel like. The bottom line here, though, is that the fragrance industry is starting to change. Okay, I do see that transparency is coming and it's about time, I think, by... Um, being open about what goes into each bottle, perfume houses can build more trust and loyalty with us, the consumers, essentially. Because in the end, it's on us and what we buy, how we vote with our own money, okay? And we vote by deciding what we buy, right? So keep that in mind. And who knows? Maybe this will also lead to the next big fragrance hit in the end, all right? So what do you think? Are you ready for more transparency in your perfumes? Do you want to know what's in it? Or you just absolutely don't care as long as it performs, it gets you compliments or whatever else you want to get out of your fragrance? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, you know what to do. Spray that like button, subscribe, say hello to your friends in the comment section, and I'll meet you there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.